What teacher has inspired you the most and why? The teacher that has inspired me the most would have to be Miss Harley. She's always been there for me and helped me out. Uh, probably Mr. Cree. Mr. Cree's inspired me the most just because, you know, he's, he's given me the best learning experience. And, um, you know, you listen to all the stories and he knew what he wanted and he went out and got it. And, you know, he inspires the students every day. Um, Miss Merkson has definitely inspired me the most. She's gotten me to read a bunch of books. Because my freshman year, I didn't want to read books at all. I couldn't balance my social life and school. Miss Yates, because it's Miss Yates, she's awesome. She actually like works with you and tries to get you through the stuff and doesn't just constantly tell you what to do. I would thank Miss Clark because she really got me into uh, you know, loving history. So I would probably thank Miss Stightly because she really brought like like the good out of me, and she showed me love, and that's what she's like more than a teacher. She's she's like a mother. Brenda, how have your teachers inspired you? Miss Charman has shown me the value of friendship. Mr. So Reedy had cancer, and he did a marathon. Well, he had that. So a big inspiration. Um, teachers inspired me to do all of my work because it really pays off. What is your best memory with a teacher? Whenever they can joke around with you and just like be cool. I miss our class. You know, we joke around, have fun. My most memorable moment with a teacher was when Miss Taylor showed our class a video about homeless veterans and it really opened my mind up to people in need and it, I think, really showed the class how many people, not just veterans, are in need. Any words of wisdom to give the teachers? Try to make it a, as good of a learning environment as you possibly can and make learning fun so you get more kids to pay attention and stop and fall asleep. My advice to teachers would be to use more current events to teach what teach what their subject is and also to incorporate more videos because you can learn a lot from just seeing a video and not even hearing it. What advice would you give the teachers about the student versus teacher games? Just try your hardest. <laughs> uh, get involved with it because it will make kids like you more. Practice. Just practice, practice, practice because they're all old. So. Bring your game. What makes a good teacher? If you actually like work with your students and just don't yell at them if they do something, just try to like work it out. When they help you with your work and when you have something hard to work on? Probably the ability to connect with a student and get them to learn what you're trying to teach. What makes a good teacher <clears throat> is when the teacher connects with the students. Laughing, having fun not being too hard on classwork. A uh, good teacher is someone that can keep a class entertained and not just be monotoned, you know, have kids falling asleep left and right. What makes a good teacher is somebody who interacts with the kids and can help them with anything they need. Probably be when teachers actually take the time to stop and talk about a topic that you really don't understand because it's very rare to have a teacher who actually respects the fact that you might not understand it instead of just moving on ahead. Yeah. Thanks to all the teachers and staff for supporting me all four years. I'd like to thank all my lovely lunch ladies for the delicious food. Thank you! I just want to thank all the Catoctans janitors for keeping our school clean. Thanks to all the teachers that have helped me make my way towards college and all the support that they've given me throughout all the years of high school. Thank you to all the administrators for helping guide us, all the seniors through the year and helping us reach our goals. Thank you secretaries for being very helpful and always being there for us and keeping everything organized. He says the problem with teachers is what's a kid gonna learn from someone who decided that his best option in life was to become a teacher. <laughs>
<laughs> he reminds the other dinner guests that, you know, it's true what they say about teachers. Those who can, do. And those who can't, teach. <laughs> I decide to bite my tongue instead of his and resist the urge to remind the other dinner guests that it's also true what they say about lawyers because we're eating after all and this is supposed to be polite conversation I mean you're a teacher Taylor come on be honest what do you make and I wish he hadn't done that asked me to be honest because you see I have this little policy in my classroom about honesty and kicking which is if you ask for it then I have to let you have it you want to know what I make I make kids work harder than they ever thought they could I can make a C plus feel like a congressional medal of honor and I can make an A minus feel like a slap in the face how dare you waste my time with anything less than your very best I make kids sit through 40 minutes of study hall in absolute silence. No, you may not work in groups. No, you cannot ask me a question. So put your hand down. Why won't I let you go to the bathroom? Because you're bored. And you don't really have to go to the bathroom, do you? I make parents tremble in fear when I call home at around dinner time. Hi, this is Mr. Molly. I hope I haven't called at a bad time. I just wanted to talk to you about something that your son said today. To the biggest bully in the class, he said, leave that kid alone. I still cry sometimes, don't you? And it was the noblest act of courage that I have ever seen. I make parents see their children for who they are and who they can be. You want to know what I make? I make kids wonder. I make them question. I make them criticize. I make them apologize and mean it. I make them write, write, write. And then I make them read. I make them spell. Definitely beautiful. Definitely beautiful definitely beautiful, definitely be a beautiful until they will never misspell either one of those words again. I make them show all their work in math class and then hide it on their final drafts in English. I make them realize that if you've got this, then you follow this. And if somebody ever tries to judge you based on what you make, you give them this. Here, let me break it down for you so you know what I say is true. I make a difference. Now what about you? 